Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make uh, hyperlinks to the pages you've uploaded. Remember, you uploaded page 1, 2, and 3 in our last episode. So let's click on page 1 for a second here. And we open it up, we'll see what we see up above here. And this is the web address. Go ahead and copy that. Okay, and there's a reason for that. Copy that. And then you're going to go ahead and just close this out for now. And now we're going to go back to the index page that we made a few seconds ago. So we're going to go over here to uh, uh, my documents. And then on my desktop, I have this project that we're working on. So uh, let me find that right now. And when I find that, I'm going to show you why we copied that in the first place. Okay, so um, okay, in the website folder, when we finally locate it, we're going to go back to the, uh, the index page. Okay, it's very important. And when we open up the index page, we want to go to File, Edit Microsoft Office Word, and we're going to find our first hyperlink, which is over here on this page here. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to find the first hyperlink, which is right here. And we're going to move this over just a bit so we can see what's going on here. We're going to right click on that. We're going to go to hyperlink. Then we're going to paste. Remember that thing we copied earlier? We're going to paste it right here. So it didn't work that time. So we're going to go back over there. I want to try and copy that sucker again. So let's go back to page one. And we're going to we'll copy it again. Copy it. Now let's go back over here to the index page. There you go. It showed up that time. And hit the OK button. That's what's called a hyperlink. Now let's do the second one. We're going to do the same thing. Let's go back to free webs. Okay. And in free webs, let's go to page two now. We'll do the same thing. We're going to copy this here uh, hyperlink. Copy that sucker. Then we're going to go back to the free webs. And the next page. We're going to double click on page two. We're going to right click and go to hyperlink. And we're going to paste it down here. And so what I found is you open this up first. Then go back to the Internet Explorer. And just copy that. Okay, once you've done that, there it is, page one. What we can do, we can just cheat here. Change that to page two in here. Okay. Hit OK. Then we're going to do the same thing down here. Click on that. Just make sure you don't get this, but click out of it. Go to hyperlink. And then uh, we can just go to browse pages now and find the one right here. And uh, when we do that, go back to the hyperlink. And just change the page 2 to page 3. Okay, and that should work just fine. That's why you should always keep these simple because if you get it too complicated, it's hard to work. Now, once you've done all that, you can hit OK. Now, watch what happens. When we hold down the Control key and we click on these, check how cool this is. We'll click on this button right here. Hold down the control key. Goes to page one. Go over here, hold down the control key. Page two should come up. And it does, but we got a problem. The whole page came up. We want just the uh, page with the index still intact. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back, we're going to edit that hyperlink. So we're going to go back over here to the hyperlink. We're going to go to edit hyperlink. And this time we're going to hit the target frame button. And the target frame allows us to click on the right side of the website we want it to go on. Now that's where our menu goes. So we click on this side, hit OK, and that's where this will show up now. So we get to hit the OK button. And we'll do the same thing for page three. We go down here, go to edit hyperlink, go to target frame, and click on the right side of the page and hit OK. And that way the uh, proper side of the page will be activated. So let's see if that works. So we'll hit OK right now. And I'm going to hit the control key and see if this works. Okay. You can see my internet's kind of slow, so it took a while, but uh, page two actually went to page three. And let's see what page three does. Okay, so we'll try one more time. All right, so page two worked like a charm. Now, page three, we're going to re edit that. So, all we're going to do, we're going to go down here, we're going to click on that. And see right here, it tells us, if you, if you mouse over it, it says page two. So, we've got to double click on that. And we're going to go back into here right click, go to 
at a hyperlink. And all we're going to do is change the page 2 to page 3. And everything should work now. Okay, so let's try that. See if we have ignition. And there we go. Everything's working. So the only thing I want to do now is I just want to rechange the way this page looks. I'm going to do a little editing here and move everything over because it looks a little cheesy right now. So that's about all we do. Now, once we get everything where we want it, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save this page. Okay, now if you did it correctly, this is the frame page. When you click on page one, you should go to page one, page two, right here, and page three right here. The only one pictures right now is page one. Now remember, all I did was I changed the address to freewebs.com. This is page one HTM, page two HTM, and page three. <coughs> to get it on the right side, I went to what's called the target frame and selected the appropriate target frame. So that's what we've got so far, okay?